In this video, I'll be showing how to calculate the prediction interval and tolerance interval using the distribution platform in Jump. The data set that I have here is film thickness of a polymer film and there are about 100 samples. Now let's open the distribution platform and plot the histogram and obtain the summary statistics. So by default, uh, you can see that along with the histogram, uh, quantiles and the summary statistics has been, uh, has been shown. And under the summary statistics, you can see the 95% uh, uh, confidence intervals. To obtain the prediction interval, uh, you choose the rectangle option here, and then you say prediction interval. So here, first you enter the uh, one minus alpha value here. Uh, so if you are assuming a risk value of uh, 5%, then your one minus alpha value will be 95% or 0.95. Here. Uh, and next you enter the number of future samples for which you want the prediction interval. So let's say you want it for 10 and also you have the option to choose either two-sided or uh, one-sided uh, uh, prediction intervals. For the time being I'm just going to leave it at two-sided and then when I say okay uh, you can see the confidence interval has been plotted for uh, uh, the uh, 10 individual uh, uh, next uh, uh, sample cells. Uh, and now let's see how to calculate the tolerance interval. To do so, uh, again from the rectangle option, uh, you choose uh, tolerance interval. And here um, you say that uh, you specify the confidence level, uh, which is again 1 minus alpha. And so again, if your uh, risk is uh, 5%, then your 1 minus alpha is 95%, or um, your uh, uh, confidence level is basically uh, 0 0.95 and then you also specify the portion of uh, the next uh, few samples so if you uh, want, let's say uh, you say it for 0.8 and also again uh, you can choose between two-sided and single-sided uh, intervals and additionally if your data is uh, not normally distributed then you can actually choose uh, either parametric or non-parametric here you can see that the data is kind of uh, left skewed so I'm going to choose non-parametric and then when I say okay so here uh, you can see that the uh, tolerance interval has been plotted so from this uh, these three confidence uh, prediction and the tolerance interval the kind of statements that we can make is as follows so uh, you can be 95 first for the confidence interval you can be 95% confidence that uh, uh, the true mean of the film thickness is going to lie between uh, uh, the uh, 7.5904 and 7.5948. Now for a prediction interval you can say that uh, the next 10 individual objects uh, you can say that uh, their uh, values uh, the film thickness uh, will lie between 7.56 and uh, 7.624 uh, with 95% confidence. Now for the tolerance interval, uh, you can make a statement as follows. You can say with 95% confidence that 80% of the future values uh, will have uh, film thickness values ranging between 7.578 uh, and uh, 7.613. 